This is Anita and the man, Brian Hewitt, speak, speaking to you, the man, and we're loving the Lord with you. My wife and Anita bring go to the unchurched to spread the living word of the Lord, and we continue. As I said, Monday morning we'd be finishing up Proverbs 8, 19 through 36, and what wisdom can do and lead us to the way in the way of righteousness in the midst of the pass of judgment, leading us beyond what we have now, leading us to the new definition of the love that God has always wanted us to have. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, your endless time that brings us to the straight and narrow, that brings us to the guidance of your truth. For many are called, a few are chosen. We thank you for this time. Your endless rhyme of your love, your depth of the deeper well of the new heart that you've, you've blessed us with. And dear Jesus, if our day is just ending, we ask you to bless us and guide us on our way home and just so we can be a one strong, strong leadership within our home and within our families. Our day is just beginning. Let us do lift up a, a, a strong time of prayer, strong time of, of, of expressing your love with our families. And lifting up our repentance so you can pour the new mercies upon this day. In the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we love thee. Brethren, again, but before I get going, there is no, no time to pray. You can pray 24 hours, 7 days a week. I just thought I'd show you some pearls that I've been expressing often here in my life. And... And one of them is, it, it just doesn't make sense to make sense to you, doesn't mean it doesn't make sense. We're the peculiar people. And if you can explain God's, God's blessing to you, God's blessing to, the, to your friends, to the ways of men, then it's not from God. God is, blesses you as a peculiar person that you're calling trust me, when I speak of this, you're calling, really cannot be put into words totally. Your, your calling cannot be put into words that is just a simple conversation. God brings us to the mist. Verse 19, my fruit is better than gold, even pure gold, and my yield better than the choices of silver. Verse 20, I walk in the, in the way of righteousness in the midst of the paths of justice, to endow those who love me with wealth, that I may fill their treasures. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way, before his works of old. From everlasting I was established from the, from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. Whenever there, there were no depths, I was brought forth when, I, when there was no springs abounding with water. Before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. God is bringing you forward, but not but with with some company. And when you get to the kingdom of heaven, you'll be um, with the with the best of the best company: Abraham, Abraham, Isaac, Jeremiah, Isaiah, the strong, strong, strong company that awaits us in the kingdom of heaven and will be praised in the Lord, the Lord for eternity. No more tears, no more fears, no more worry about losing the job, obviously. You are just praising the Lord and you are in, in, beyond the, beyond the expression of what we could define as happiness. Why? Because it's coming from God, not the ways of man happiness that we know on earth. Wisdom, let's just say, in a borderline philosophical manner, but a spiritual level, wisdom was born, as it is said, wisdom was born before creation. From everlasting, I was established from the beginning, from the earliest times of the earth. God was there, Jesus was there, of the Spirit. Jesus was there manifesting the vision for you, way before you were bo born. As you were born, we're given the the, the choices of our free will, birth from Adam's sin. We move into this glorious, beautiful truth called wisdom, and it gives us His power, God's power, God's love, God's strength to get receive more strength from our prayers, our fasting, our walk, 
are moving into the wealth of the Bible, are moving into the time spent. Gold brings us forever into the arms of Christ and brings us across many a river of change in the name of Jesus. When he made from the skies above, when, he, when the springs of the deep became fixed, when he set for the sea its, its boundaries so that the water would not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the world, then I was beside him as a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in the world, his earth, and having my delight in my sons of men. Now therefore, O sons, listen to me. For blessed are they who keep my ways, heed instructions, and be wise, and do not neglect it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my doorpost. For he who finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. And he who sins against me and injures himself, and those who hate me love death. We can't hate wisdom. We can't hate that that's giving us the, the light of the supernatural vision of God. Just think of it, those who know the Lord, those who know the Lord, share to those friends who are still in the ways of sin how you went from this natural to the supernatural, how you went seen when it fooled you, now you're walking away from it. How you expressed yourself beyond where you are now in the power of wisdom. Wisdom is your jeweler that brings you to the three rings of royalty. Hope, faith, and love to be worn upon your heart for the rest of your life. God brings you to where he wants you to be. God brings you to the task that God has chosen to you. Don't feel frustrated that you can't explain the blessings of the Lord to you. Because, why? Again, it, can't, it, come, it comes from God, not from the ways of man. The jeweler, the, the three wise men that brought all the, the, the gifts of Jesus' death at the manger. Do you think Joseph and Mary could explain it? No. Because these were men driven by God's love, not by Herod, not by, hey, I know name dropping King Herod's name. No. This was all God. This was the powerful truth of God. And the expression of the Lord brings us to his time, his endless rhyme, and going forward, forward, in his name forevermore. We are here, brothers and sisters, as a ministry, my wife and I, my wife and I, we go to the unchurch. We go to the gypsy nations of Pakistan with these broadcasts. And we go forward in the name of Jesus to spread an endless love and depth. And with that, we present to you a new relationship. Iron sharpening irons. The power of wisdom that we just expressed through 19 through 36 of Proverbs 8. That with this time that God blesses us with, let us move into that new foundation. Let us move into the power that with our wisdom, we are, we're just a pure thought from God of being a millionaire. We're just a pure thought of God from changing the lives of trillions. I didn't say billions, I didn't say bill millions, I said trillions. We got, <clears throat> my wife and I touch over 200 countries with these broadcasts. We not necessarily have the masses when we go live, but people come to our links, people send us emails, people send us all kinds of messages and the messages of the truth, the messages of what gold gives unto us, changes, changes, changes your life and our life. And what the most beautiful truth of what I just said is God is never 
done changing us. He's always keeping us on the potter's wheel, always bringing forward his, his moment, his, 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 his truth. God grades on the cross, not on the curve. Okay, so those of us who just finished school, there's usually a curve. But God grades how deep you crucify yourself on the cross, the measurements of your faith daily, how you die daily, what you do with the gifts. You had the faith of God, but are you presenting his works before the throne of God? Are you just have your glorified bus ticket to heaven punched and you're sitting on the park bench watching the rest of us do his blessed works? I wouldn't trust in the best 15 minutes of my life I ever lived to get me into heaven. And I had some great 15 minutes of my life before I was saved over many 40 years ago, believe it or not. And it's what you sow that multiplies, not what you keep in your barn. It's what you sow that multiplies it, not what you keep in your barn. Has it ever occurred to you that nothing occurs to God? We ought to be living as, as, as if Jesus died yesterday, rose this morning, and is coming back this afternoon. What do you say, brethren? We go down to the cave. We see the rolled stone, but the rolled stone not just represents Jesus' resurrection, but it represents you. The cross doesn't, his death doesn't just represent Jesus, it represents you. And we go into the everlasting truth, and we go into the everlasting realities. Now God gives us his blessed expression. And that expression gives us the task, I didn't say strategy, because I always say, feel that strategy is something of a component of the ways of man. Because God wants you to react to his love. God wants you to, to react to the saints around you. So we start with the basics, and, and this, brothers and sisters, if you have a Bible that I'm holding up now that's falling apart, my wife says this a lot. You have a life that you'll have a life that's not falling apart. Again, if you have a Bible like yours truly just showed that is falling apart, you have a life that's not falling apart. Being well educated, not so much used, but being well versed, God tells us in his way it's time to come forward. Romans ten thirteen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my pay place, paying the penalty for my sins. I am willing right now to, to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. And I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and to fill me and take control and to help me become the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you, G Father, for loving me. Thank you, Jesus. We are redeemed. That's Anita singing in the background. Angels in heaven are now singing your name before the throne of God. I am praising and praising and praising your name. Welcome. Welcome, for you are redeemed. You're no longer in the process of being redeemed. Not when I grow up, I will be redeemed. You are redeemed. We are redeemed. In a country, brothers and sisters, where we do have some outstanding ministries that we can live, l learn the Word of God. Now, Anita and I like the personal touch. You know, Christmas time, we like to go to the stores and buy our own presents <coughs> for each other versus going online and interacting that way. It's nothing like going to a church and physically benefiting and fellowshipping with the ways of men. My wife and I encourage that. And in the U.S., we do encourage you to join us on our, our broadcast. And it comes back 11 a.m., 3 p.m., and 6 p.m. Yours truly comes back. We're just continuing our, in our series of prayer. We ask you to be a financial steward to this ministry, and God will bless you back 700-fold with anything that you believe in your heart. When you ask it, believe it. Ask, seek, and knock, 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. God gives to you the great, great times of your life. God wants to express his new love to you. God wants to bring to you that change. By he that sinneth against the wrong against wisdom, me, wrongeth his own soul, all that all they that love me hate me, love death. You can't hate God, you can't hate wisdom. You're slapping God on the face because God wants you to have the strength of of his wisdom every day. I was did not have the normal years of a teenager. In fact, I didn't have an, any years of a teenager. I went from a young 12-year-old to a dear old dad. But it was the strength of my prayers during that time that changed me from a boy to a man overnight. It was the strength of the prayers that brought me out of a hellish family situation and got brought me love. It was Satan that tried to kill me, not God. It was the powerful truth of the Lord that gives us His beautiful truth, His love, His endless rhyme of love, the deeper well that you now have in your heart. Would not, wouldn't you want that? I have, and I know of many a young person that was has been nominated for the Academy Awards. But wisdom that does not supply the need for them. But you can, but congratulate yourself when you receive wisdom. It's it is the greatest of all presents, and is also the greatest presence into your life. Your life is a gift from God. As as the owner, the most important thing you can do for a skilled operation is to know the manual and learn all you can learn from the maker. That that manual is the Bible. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. It's from, again, Proverbs Three, chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 the gift of life and a fresh new day to invest in it arrive unstained each morning with the opportunity to bring your creator glory again God created you to be a habitation for his glory not to hang out watch the Knicks insanity which is fine we need to be entertained to Kobe having a sauna mask over his face no, thankfully God's wisdom is available every moment of the day. So again, get into your daily prescription of reading Proverbs daily, at least two chapters. Get into the basics of, of your everyday Bible reading. Get into a midweek Bible service, a strong Bible-believing church. And brothers and sisters, my wife um, put together a database of churches throughout the North America. We got some available in other countries. If you live, please, just no matter where you live, contact us. We will help you find a church. And we want, doesn't mean you have to come to Bible Way LA. We want you to be taught. God, God, without you asking, is going to send you the best prophets, teachers, evangelists, ministers, apostles around you. Around you. I had that I had that and it came back and it came back to me in a blessed way and again God in the twinkling of an, of an eye can change you your thoughts will be of all the clarity and the from the ways of man's word to to the wisdom from his word God and you are peculiar it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that once we once we are with God, and just excuse me for a moment here. Once we are with God, we don't wear kryptonite. The breastplate of righteousness does not keep us from 
being attacked. If you're with some people that say, hey, I'm never attacked, I'm Superman, I'm still the ladies' man, I'm still the woman, you know, then it's best that you kind of step away because the basic trainings of military and law enforcement is nobody likes a hero. You know, the heroes kind of like go first. So you, you don't want to be caught in any kind of unfortunate friendly fire. So kind of walk away from them. And the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. That's Psalms 119, 105. Years ago, I chose the, the path of the absolute truth. We just did have our altar call at the halfway point of this broadcast. There is no time stamp for you to make your altar call. You don't have to wait all for the bishops to say it at the end of the service when then you get all Satan tries to come into the playground of yours called the brain and the mind and play with it and turn it into the mushali or the mush and let's get on with it. Let's get on with our lives. Go forward in the arms of Christ. I, I, I guarantee you, for those who are going forward in the name of Jesus this week, today, tomorrow, Wednesday, you're going to meet some outstanding people in them prayer room. That is my guarantee. And Satan's going to say, oh, that's just a bunch of unemployed people calling them saints. No, that's well, Satan shouldn't really talk because he's dead. And it's it's all about faith. It's all about stepping out of faith from where you were to where you are now because God is a faith God, not yesterday. Now, the now of faith brings us to the renewing of the mind, wisdom through his spirit. Have you ever been guided just by a glance? Because that's how you are going to be guided. The bishop that does the altar call, the pastor, the prophet, that's your glance. Can you recall a time when a parent, spouse, trusted, or a trusted friend had done that for you? It's going to happen to you. That look in the person's eye told you exactly what to do or not to do. Our Father offers us kind guidance, but it comes from only an intimate relationship with the guide formed by a time spent with him. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and upbraideth not. From James chapter 1 verse 5. God, God's wisdom comes not only by his word, but through the Holy Spirit living within you. The Holy Spirit will guide you in, in matters where specific guidance is needed. God will speak to your heart when you're walking in the Spirit. God will speak in your heart when you're walking in the Spirit. The Father, the Spirit, the Son, they're all beside you. The Spirit is inside you. You have the Spirit within you, impressing your heart, leading you. Leading you. God has a plan for your individual life, for I know the thought that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. Jeremiah 29 11. Are you guided by the Word of God? The objective truth of witnesses of God, the Holy Spirit, impressing your heart and the works of God, His provincial opening and closing doors, doors, and you will have God's wisdom for your every need. You will have wisdom for your every need. Your needs had needs, not all your needs are met. Doesn't mean that all the money is coming into the bank but that does come and how does that come brothers and sisters hey well god has a plan he has provisions but what we ask for through our prayers you must believe in your heart that you shall receive it whatever you ask in the name of jesus you shall receive it but ask seek and knock you have not because you ask not are you with me much of my experience over a very fast 20 years changed me by the living Word of God, by taking a nosedive into this truth, into His love. And I had some back, backsliding moments like in 2000. I had some backsliding moments that I thoroughly enjoyed. 
but I go on with it. I get on with it and move on. And in our time that we have here, we must be the change makers of the world. It is not so much having a mega church of 35,000 people going on one scripture that Daryl Dad taught us, who was a senior minister of that church, and run with it when we don't know the Bible. We have to feed the sheep. I need to end the man, yours truly here, have a great responsibility. So we have to, we are not just doing our best, we are presenting the best of A through Z of what God wants us to, to express. And we need your help by sending us your topics, what you want us to express. And in this time, we have a new relationship growing, you and I. My wife wants you, I want you to contact us through our contact link. Contact link. Send us an email of your questions. Join our newsletter format, which our first one just went out this morning to about, uh, about five or 6,000 emails. We want you to come and be with us and join us. We want you to travel to our crusades. We're going back to Kenya. We're going to Nigeria, Cape Town, South Africa, Tanzania. England we're going back to, and France once, parts of Europe, Canada most definitely, my brothers and sisters in our work. Australia, we're going in 2013. We'll be spending at least a month or two months there. So do plan ahead and join us, and our work continues here in Los Angeles, California. And again, old times are Pacific Standard Time, and my beautiful wife, the anointed Anita Hewitt, shifts gears in, in the brunch Bible studies service, the anointing of her message at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and shifts gears once again for the early region drive, drive time home at 3 p.m. And again, if your day is just beginning, or if you are asleep during that time frame, you can join us 24 hours, 7 days a week over Ustream YouTube. You can watch us live over the BryantHewitt.com. And on BryantHewitt.com, we invite you to be a financial partner with us by clicking on the donation link. And your financial gift will come back to you 700-fold from financial prosperity of great depths that None of your storehouses and your apartments, your homes, even, even the ranches that were part of my early, early days of a young boy to a young man could not hold them because they're coming for, forward from the open windows of heaven for you, for you. And we thank you for your prayers and support ahead of time. We thank you for your love in Jesus' name. Proverbs 8 has a lot of of the meat and potatoes and we we have this basted and prepared for us by the finger of God so, and using Solomon as a vehicle to write this expression of wisdom you, we may ask for wisdom and discernment of God every day but we I don't want that to be what you ask first every day I want you to ask what Solomon never did ask God I want to know you ever so more every day than I did yesterday as you pour the new mercies of this new day upon me. In Jesus' name. Trust me, you will live a beautiful life, including your older years, without disgrace. And Solomon could not say that if he was speaking to you today. The last few years of his life were disgrace. Because he did not, he got the wisdom, got the discernment, but he did not know the face of God like you and I do. Brothers and sisters, let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your time, your endless rhyme that brings us to this beautiful road of grace <laughs> that leads us to this straight and narrow many are called a few are chosen. We thank you for your time, your love, your endless wisdom pouring forth from us. We thank you for the lessons of prayers coming at the 6 p.m. hour. We thank you for my wife Anita teaching the truth of the love of the Lord at the 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. service. We thank you for this new day. We thank you for your new mercy. We thank you for your forgiveness. We thank you for your love. We thank you for the deeper well of the new heart you have given us for your beautiful circumcision. In Jesus' name, we love thee. Anita and the man loves you. We walk by faith and not by sight. We thank you for your time. And until next time, au revoir, adios, good day for the people.